April 29, Monday, Memorial of St. Catherine of Siena, Virgin and Doctor A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. For no one can do these signs that you are doing, unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you, No one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can a person once grown old be born again? Surely, he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, Amen, I say to you, No one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes, so it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord You must be born from above. Jesus teaches Nicodemus about seeing or entering the kingdom of God. He must be born from above. Some people say, one must be born again. But John uses the Greek anothen, from above, not palin, again. Jesus clarifies its meaning. 1. Being born in the waters of baptism. That means conversion and cleansing from sins. And 2. Living according to the Spirit of God. After being born into this world through our parents, we must be born also into the family of God and to becoming children of God. As John writes earlier in his prologue, To those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. To enter heaven, one must believe in Jesus as the Son of God. Only those baptized who undergo baptism of water and spirit become God's children and are entitled to eternal life.